To turn on the ST16, you simply move this slider over, a little LED comes on, and then it starts to go into its startup procedure. When you press the start stop button on the Typhoon H, if you just press it quickly, you just get a little beep come off it. And what you have to do is hold it down for two seconds, and then you hear it go through its startup procedure. As you can see, as it's connected up, uh, it's connected the RF, uh, RC, sorry, is uh, completed, and it's waiting for the Wi Fi connection. The whole screen grays down, uh, you can touch it and it'll uh, lighten back up again. But you get this warning at the top reconnect into camera, please wait, even though this is the first connection. Um, you, don't, you haven't got a picture because obviously it's got nothing to show you. Um, so uh, we got welcome pilot, so we know this is actually live. As soon as it uh, drops out, um, so you're not getting full FPV, this will keep coming up with that red warning. Uh, just to run through everything that we've got on the ST16, uh, we've got obviously the time, um, the four and then the little satellite icon here is uh, for how many satellites the ST16 is picking up. And then onto the Wi-Fi connection, we've got a good connection there, obviously, um, literally the, uh, the H is probably about four feet away. Uh, we've got um, the uh, battery condition there, and that's the battery condition on the ST16. Let's just come down the other side. Uh, we've got the volts on this side, that's the actual volts that are on the Typhoon H. Um, so we, we keep an eye on that. When it drops down, I think it's about 20% off. Uh, running right down uh, you start to get warnings and actually the ST16 vibrates in your hand as well and you get a big warning up on the screen if I can capture that for you later I will uh, a GPS um, it's acquiring the, the GPS and the uh, satellite is 8 we got 8 but that's for the Typhoon H uh, the GPS I don't think I think it needs 5 or 6 to actually make the full uh, GPS work so uh, over here it's only four uh, it won't get any more in the house to be honest um, tells us uh, the position and again that's a struggle because of uh, we, we've not got many satellites uh, the altitude is about three foot off the ground actually so that's uh, rather good and the ground speed it's not doing anything obviously and the distance is the distance away from the ST16 uh, to the Typhoon H uh, running down the other side, we've got what mode we're in here, and that won't affect anything, um, even if I move it. But we basically that would show smart, uh, angle, or home. And then the uh, obstacle avoidance, if I flick that on now, it says disabled at the moment and it's greyed out, as you can see. If I flick it on, it highlights up in yellow, but it says not available because you can't use obstacle avoidance when it's on the floor and you shouldn't activate it until you're at least three meters above the ground anyway. Uh, your GPS calibration, if I press that, and you can just click onto these and you will calibrate them um, uh, each of them in individually as you go through the compass, the accelerometer and the gimbal ca calibration. Uh, quite, the thing I like about this is every time you go into menus it just has a little walkthrough if it needs to. Uh, if not it just gets on and does it straight away for you. So rather good I think. Uh, the follow me mode uh, is not available at the moment. Uh, that's purely because we don't have enough uh, GPS uh, and, it's, and our satellites to create a good uh, GPS lock on both of them. And then uh, the task control uh, for the camera. And again, that's uh, follow me and the settings and everything there. So if I press that, come across here, you've got orbit, point of interest, a journey, and a cable camera control there. Um, these are greyed out, and I'll show you why those are greyed out in a second. So just. Um, now, uh, if coming along this bottom one, uh, we've got uh, model select, and then there's one grayed out here, I hope you pick it up. It says channel settings, system settings, and pad. And then under that, we've got, these are actually live um, keys. So uh, sort of hardware ones, so you can adjust the volume. And then you obviously got the return one, and then you've got a home one as well. Home always brings you back to this screen. So if you get into menus and you get a bit panicky, it's quite nice you've got this one here. I had this problem on the ST. 10 plus and I've never managed to sort it out. Um, I don't know what this button does. Every time I press it, it never does anything. So I assume it's just possibly be used later on uh, when they develop it a bit more. Let's go into model select. So I'm just gonna run through these bottom ones. 
and then it says gives you a warning you're going to exit uh, flight uh, data telemetry as you can see screen will disconnect you from the aircraft I sure I want to continue so basically it will still fly all right the controls will stay uh, working and everything but your FPV is going to be off so if you're relying on that it's just telling you don't go into uh, these areas obviously but I'm going to click OK because it's not affecting us uh, and we'll select on the Typhoon H if you want to add a new model you just touch it as I say it's a touch screen anyway so let's come back to the main menu uh, channel settings if I click on that one a little tiny one here you might not be able to pick that up on the screen but I'll tell you what it is it's please turn on advanced mode to activate this feature in settings okay so we'll, we'll carry on through um, so basically this is how your uh, ST16 will come to you in a basic mode and then you can change these settings and this is the one I want to show you so again you get this warning every single time and it's good because if you just happen to press anything you can just press cancel and you're back in FPV mode click OK and we've got a whole load of menus down here as you see and then anything that's related to the menus will appear over here so we can bind to a different um, uh, camera if you want or a different model if we go into the other settings this is the bit it asked us to do was if you want to use um, some of the advanced camera uh, settings or uh, and the uh, cable cam and all those sort of things you need to be in advanced mode it won't let you do it in uh, basic mode which I think is a good move because you can get to get familiar with the H uh, and then move on to these stages but so we're going to click that on and we're carrying on down hardware monitor so this basically as you see anything I move you will see shows that it is all working and switches uh, basically everything um, uh, just to let you know and the dial as well uh, so that does just let, lets you know as far as I can see it's just purely to to check everything is working if you do have a problem uh, might be a place to come back to your models uh, mode select sorry um, I was flying mode 2 I think if I change it to any other mode I would be crashing a lot um, but there is a mode 3 and a mode 4 which I don't know anything about but there, there is um, you're either going to fly mode 2 like the majority of people now or there is mode 1 available and you just simply click it and that changes it uh, the camera select here uh, we've got the, the pro version if you go to the uh, Seago 3 you'll take off some of the advanced uh, uh, facilities on it so I would always keep it on the uh, Pro and then about the controller tells you um, everything about it if you're connected to uh, Wi-Fi at home obviously you can update it and then you can update the aircraft as well um, uh, uh, through this system as well so that, that's quite good I think let's come back there we go so that was our system settings all run through and now we've opened up the channel settings so if I click on this I'm going to ask us again click through now this is an area I really don't want to touch but I will show you where it is you can basically alter anything um, everything in here is changeable now um, we can have a look around at what everything is so the S3 is telling you where the S3 is um, let's have a look so uh, the J1 properties so it's the throttle basically and you can change all these things on the throttle simply by coming into it and pressing edit now you can alter all the curves you can put in uh, pre-selected ones I'm really loath to touch any of this I'm sorry but <laughs> I really don't want to do this. I'm sure there is a reset button. Um, oh yeah, there is, so we, we would be fine. Shall I give it a go? Yes, you can basically put in whatever curves you want. So you can tune this thing to however you want to um, fly it. Uh, basically, you, oh, I mean, just phenomenal what you can do with it. Uh, I really don't. Uh, data could not be recovered reset okay yes please thank you um, I'm gonna fly as is and if I find I'm lacking somewhere then I might come in here and have a look but to be honest this is too advanced for me um, but it's nice to know it's there and uh, basically it's the same as open pilot I guess for um, when I'm setting up my racers so I might come into it at some stage so, uh, but if you want to change anything on it you can change everything in here um, so that's rather good mm -hmm.